this was not done uh, in the blink of an eye. We've been talking about this for months. But not everyone is on board with a proposal involving the use of Baltimore City's underground conduit system and BGE. Council President Nick Mosby and Controller Bill Henry boycotted the Board of Estimates meeting today. Still, the mayor and two other board members passed the agreement. This is a win for the city of Baltimore. Anyone saying anything else either doesn't understand it or doesn't want to understand it. Even a former mayor is weighing in. I don't care what kind of words he used. If you're giving them total control, we are only ownership and name only. But how valid was the meeting? Some question how any proposal could get approval without a quorum. There was no meeting of the Board of Estimates this morning. The council president and I made a conscious decision not to attend. The law department says under Board of Estimates rules, the meeting was scheduled. The missing members were considered absent and had no designees present. We were able to move forward and we got this item uh, uh, approved uh, with the required uh, quorum and it will stand. Mosby and Henry say they have requested more information about the agreement and what it will mean for city residents. They say they didn't get it and they had no choice but to stay away. They say the vote is not valid and they are asking the state to intervene. We have no other option uh, but to call on Attorney uh, General Brown, uh, A.G. Brown, Anthony Brown, to intervene and provide a determination of the legality of the administration's actions regarding the underground conduit system and this agreement. Councilmember Eric Costello says he wants more information for an upcoming hearing. And 11 News asked what could happen at the next Board of Estimates meeting set for March 1st concerning this issue. This may solve itself um, or they may dig their heels in and choose to die on this hill. Now, the mayor says approval had to happen today ahead of BGE going before the Public Service Commission. But those who are asking for more time say that BGE and the city together could ask for a deferral from the PSC. Reporting live from downtown Baltimore, Barry Sims, WBAL-TV, 11 News.